Hi, I'm Talina from Envirotecture and I want to share the biophilic design journey of our Huff and Puff house. It's located in Trogoron country in central Victoria and this sense of place and connection to land was really important for our clients. They wanted a healthy home that was also healthier for the planet as they really respected this landscape. The design response was to have a long, thin home that was off-grid and met the requirements of the Certified Passive House Standard. It was to be a straw bale home using waste because it's a uh, using straw as it's a waste product. And it's got a main, main part of the house here with a beautiful living area that connects um, to the landscape on both sides, as well as having a guest wing down this end. The main bedroom to the east really has a great connection to being able to see the sunrise as well. The intention was for the home to act like a tree, uh, harvesting all its water on the site. It was grounded. It was connected to the landscape. It treats wastewater on site. It really is speaking to the spirit of place. They're going to be regenerating the land, growing their own veggies and planting an orchard um, and, and of course, it's it's got their, all of their solar panels too. The roof design was aligned in, in this geometry so that it could have the optimum solar panels on top. So that helped design the, the patterns and the repetition of this home and the, the form that you see here, along with the external cladding, which was about it being bushfire resilient too. This south facade um, has the best views, which is why there's windows all towards the south, which we were able to manage and balance with our energy modelling. And all of those um, triple glaze windows open up to be able to step out into the landscape. So it's not just a visual connection, it's a physical one as well. The entry is outside um, before you approach the house. And so this walkway and corridor connects those two separate wings uh, with lots of lovely warm materials um, to really connect back um, to nature as, as part of that transition from inside to outside. And this main living space really has those gorgeous windows that pick up the views. There's an abundance of natural light. The north-facing on, windows on the other side get all the warmth of the winter sun as well. And, um, yeah, that they really love this space and they love that it becomes a real refuge so that um, they can close everything up when there's harsh weather outside, especially when there's dust or smoke, um, pollutants and, and, and winds or just freezing temperatures. They can close it up and still feel that um, lovely connection to the outdoors. But they know that when they're inside, they can um, have that, yeah, that's that safe, calm, comfortable, healthy haven as well. And it's all about aging in place, having this healthy indoor environment in terms of the air quality and with the biophilic design to also have that um, mental health and well-being too. Um, so Pip and Stephen can age in place. You can see the long functional corridor here that has all these extra uses down the side. So that was all incorporated as part of the design strategy too. The natural earthy materials and colours um, uh, really delightful this straw bale render has such a delicious texture and everyone wants to touch it um the deep seals are really lovely too and the you know the pebbles and the polished concrete and the timber frame doors all of this contributes to a really lovely palette and um more natural connection with all those materials inside the home even the bathroom you can step outside and has those um earthy colors as well and again, the, the main bedroom can, can pick up those wonderful vistas and you can enjoy that, whether it's um, beautiful temperatures inside or out, you've got the options to have the physical or visual connection and auditory as well. And they really delight in watching the changes of seasons and the changes of day and night and the sky and the stars and, and all of that. It's a really beautiful home to be in that's healthy for people and planet um, and they really have that that sense of reverence and, and respect um, because of this connection between the built environment and the natural environment too they've done everything they can to make it a sustainable and regenerative home and it also received that certified passive house premium thank you